day for Tuesday. Go ahead, start that new attempt. So today's agenda, attendance question instruction video, learning about density calculations, another gizmo, layering at home, and star slides. So go ahead, do the attendance question. Keep watching this video. We have a beautiful video about how to calculate density and what density is. Remember, density is how much stuff is in a certain amount of space. So like if I had these two water bottles, they're pretty much the same size, but this one is way heavier. They're the same size, but this one is heavier, meaning this is more dense. So a good way to figure out density is when you hold something, if it's unexpectedly heavy, that means it's really dense. If it's unexpectedly light, that means it's not dense at all. So density is how much stuff fits in and how much space. So if you try to fit more and more stuff in the same amount of space, then it is more dense. <clears throat> And then we have some more um, density notes for you today. So go through, it'll ask you to calculate some densities. So the density calculations, so mass over volume. So like for this first one, paperclip, Rodney has a paperclip. It has a mass of nine grams and a volume of three centimeters cubed. What is its density? So it's mass divided by volume. The mass is nine, and the volume is 3. So it's 9 divided by 3. So it's a pretty simple formula. You just have to remind yourself what is mass and what is volume. Now go ahead, answer some questions on that. And then we have another gizmos. I love these gizmos, guys. They're perfect um, for an online situation. So you have your lab assignment here. And so you're going to go ahead and do this. It is three pages, but I promise it goes pretty fast. Um, whenever you ask or have it, um, click on the image and select edit using the drawing tool. Um, if you click on it, again, this little edit button shows up at the bottom. And that is how you can circle the correct things. You can Use like a circle button over here and circle stuff over here. And then once you have that, you'll just save and close and it'll save whatever you did. So that's that assignment that goes along with your gizmos lab. Now something to note, if ever you do a gizmos, double check that you are logged in. If you don't log in, that's when that timer is going to show up. Um, so make sure to log in whenever you do a gizmos, otherwise um, it's going to time you out. So that's what you're doing in class today. And then I have another thing for you to do at home. So yesterday I had you um, test to see if things floated or sank in your sink. Um, today you have two different options. So one, you could pick any five liquids and predict which are going to be the most and least dense. So you can pick pop, water, milk, dish soap, cooking oil, balsamic vinegar, any liquid of any kind. It can be whatever you want. You can pull it from the fridge. You can pull it from the bathroom. You can do shampoo, um, any liquid. Um, so pick five and figure out which ones are going to be the most dense and least dense. And then once you have your five predictions, which you'll write down here, then Google the density of shampoo, density of water, density of milk, um, and then put them in the actual order and see how close you are. Or using parent supervision, 
gather five liquids from around your home and a see-through container and try to layer them. Because with density, things will layer. So it won't just turn into one big mess. Um, you'll see that it layers out, but only if you do it very slowly. If you just dump them all in, then they are gonna form one big mess and you're not gonna see any layers. But if you do it slowly, then you'll see layers form. Also try like pouring it at an angle so that it kind of goes down the side. If you just go straight down, uh, then it might mix up easier with the other layers. So very slowly try to get the orders um, and then tell me what order it ended up in. You might even have to do it a couple of times if you mess up or if the layers just mix together. Um, so go ahead and try one of those two options. You do not have to do both unless you want to. And then Tuesday star slides, instructions. Um, if you get done early today, work on other schoolwork, find something from the resource folder, um, read a book, anything school related um, to get you through the rest of the day, or get caught up on other science work. Make sure to go ahead and check your grades um, because a lot of people have stuff that they missed over the past couple of days. Um, so make sure you do that, then review answers, and done. All right. Bye.